Hey guys, this is Spencer from Pixel and Bracket. In this video, I'm going to show you how to round corners in Illustrator CS6 or earlier. I have another tutorial on how to round corners with the corner widget using live corners in Illustrator CC or later, but if you're not totally updated, I have had some questions about how to round corners in like CS6 or an earlier version. So to start with, I'm gonna create a rectangle here um, just with a stroke, no fill, and a 20, uh, 20 point stroke. So I'm gonna grab my rectangle tool and just draw a square. I'm gonna hold shift and draw a square out here on my artboard. Okay, so really quick for you guys who maybe landed on this tutorial that have CC, you see these little corners, uh, that's the live corners. You can just click and drag them to round your corners. Or you can uh, use the direct selection tool to select just this corner and round just that corner. There's other things you can do, but I just wanted to show you that in case you were wondering how to round corners. I'm going to go ahead and go up to View and then Hide Corner Widget to turn those off. So now this is like I'm in CS6 or earlier. So you guys don't have the Live Corners widget. Instead, you're going to have to use an effect called Round Corners. So I'm going to just click and drag this out holding option and shift to create another rect or another square over here. Then I'm going to go up to effect, stylize, round corners. That's going to bring up a little dialog box. It allows me to adjust the radius and then preview it if I want to. So I'm going to go ahead and hit preview. That looks pretty good, right? So that's how you round corners, but what if I want to round only the top two corners, right? Because this this rounds them all, and I can't edit them after that except for all four of them. So if I just want to round the top two corners, what I need to do with this rounded corner square is actually expand its appearance, because right now if I, if I cut into it, it does some weird things with the corners and doesn't give me the exact output that I want. So I'm gonna select this, go up to object, and down to expand appearance. That creates this stroke. And you can actually see all of the uh, all of the anchor points that it's created to create these round corners for you. What I can do is just select this shape. I'm going to use the cut tool, which is a shortcut key C, the scissors tool. Actually, it's over here. It's scissors over there in your toolbar. Um, and I'm going to just hover until I find the center point. Which, if you're not seeing these uh, pink lines that show up, go to View and then Smart Guides. They're very very helpful. So I'm just going to cut at each of these four points. Intersect there, that should be okay because I dragged that over straight. All right, cut there and cut there. What that's given me is a corner that I can affect on each of these. So I can use my selection tool to pull these corners out and actually then place them maybe on my other square. So if I want the top two corners to be rounded on this square, I'm just gonna use that scissor tool again and I'm gonna cut on this square in the exact same spot on either side. I'm gonna use my selection tool and then just the delete key, I'm gonna delete out the top top portion of that. Then I can just grab each of these corner pieces and drag them over here onto my other shape to fit them in. So that creates a rounded corner effect on the top of my shape, but they're still all separate pieces. So if I select this entire shape, the two top pieces and the bottom piece, and go up to object, path, and then join, now it creates a whole shape that I can use in my design. And from here, it's actually easier. So like, what if I wanted this to be a lot taller? I can use my direct selection tool, select all of the top points, and just click and drag on that to pull it out to create a taller rectangle. That's it for this tutorial. If you guys have any questions, suggestions, comments, post them down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next time.